what I'm going to be showing you today is a spice rub flat iron steak with a red wine mushroom sauce, mashed potato cakes, and sauteed asparagus. We are going to start today with potatoes. I'm going to season my water. We're gonna peel these potatoes. We are gonna cut these into uniform-ish chunks. So we'll get those right in the water. Asparagus. So we do the what? Blanch and shock. The blanch and shock. When I was a little girl, this was always my job and I thought it was so fun. <laughs> um, so, all right, I have my asparagus in my boiling water. <laughs> so there we go, mise en place. We are going to toast our slices. I am going to use cumin, I'm going to use fennel seed, and I'm going to use black pepper. It's just a couple of minutes spice grinder. And you're like, wait, that looks like a coffee grinder. Right. Guess what? It is a coffee grinder, but it is dedicated solely to spices. Right in <laughs> my spice grinder. I'm gonna grind my toasted fennel seeds, right? All right, so the last one I'm gonna do is just a little black pepper. Mm. Woo! We're making our own seasoning, honey. Right, exactly. So your own spice rub. That's what's up. While I'm right here. Head on it's done. Oh, yeah, it's right? done. I'm gonna take this over to the sink. Sorry. Drain out all the water you can. So, it doesn't matter what's happening. When your potatoes are ready, stop everything and do this. We have this thing. This thing is called a food mill. It sets right on top of your pan. Now take all these guys. Go forward. So look at it and see what's happening. Oh, yeah. It's so take a rubber spatula. We want to make sure that we really push it through. All right, forward so you can't really get, you don't see anything happening, go back. All right, so now when we get to here, <laughs> make sure you get all of that off. Now, once you do this, get these off of here and onto a quarter sheet tray. Spread them out and in the fridge. This is called a flat iron steak. I mean, this is a tender piece of meat, but it also doesn't have tons of fat to help carry that flavor. So that's why we're putting spice rub on it. We're gonna salt. A nice, even coating of salt. Now, I'm just gonna let this hang out here for a second. I'm gonna make a mushroom sauce. I popped the stems out, and I'm going to slice these guys, all right? So you see what I've got going on here? About a quarter of an inch or so. These are us coming together. Oh, I have asparagus. My potatoes are in the fridge chilling out. My steak doing its nice thing. This is veal demi-glaze, kind of like veal jelly. A little bit of this sort of goes a long way. Now, I'm going to use some shallot to saute with my asparagus and in my sauce. So I have one shallot that I'm going to use in two places. So should I just cut the whole thing now? Yes. 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 Right through the middle. Yes. So now we want to cut these really finely. Very, very, very fine. One time through the middle like that. See? And then we go downtown. The last thing that I really need to think about is what? My mashed potato cake, right? Cold to the touch. Not like, mm, do I think that's cold? They're cold. So now everybody into a bowl. One egg. Remember this guy? Mm -hmm. With the scoop and sweep. Mm -hmm. I am going to use goat cheese and chives. So look, I have my uh, potato mix going on here. All right, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna taste. Mm. I have some extra flour on the side because once I make my cake, I'm going to put it in flour and right into the hot pan so it gets a little crispy. Coating my pan. All right, turn my burner on. Remember my little spice rub that I've got going on over here? Putting it here and I'm gonna boil. We're gonna make a little paste. We are going to sear our steak in this pan and then we are going to take our steak out of this pan and we're gonna build the sauce right in this pan. Cool. Yeah. 
let it do its thing. Just for time purposes, I'm gonna do my two steaks, all right? But I wanna get this moving. Mm -hmm. Oh! There we go. All right. Nice. Non-stick pan for mm -hmm. our potatoes. Ooh. Like the meatball, <laughs> potato meat. Oh my, so the Star Trek. <laughs> now you wanna do this really when the potatoes are cold, oh. all right? It's just gonna be much easier to work with. All right. All right. Oh, look at what's happening. What am I working on? Steak and potatoes, right? Mm -hmm. Sauce mise en place already. Veg mise en place ready. So I'm just coming down the home stretch. I am focusing all on my cooking. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Now I'm taking my steaks out. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just rub it with the spices. All right, get it all nice and coated. I want to feel all of that. Okay, so. I'm gonna stick my thermometer. Remember, this is the sensor part. Stick it in the side. We wanna feel, wanna see what temperature we are at. So my steak is at 100 degrees right now. That means it's raw. I'm gonna put it in the oven for like five to six minutes, not long. I'm gonna set a timer. This is gonna bring it up to about 120 degrees and then we're gonna let it rest. Let's just take a look at, <laughs> at my potato cakes. All right, I'm telling you guys, ooh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Potatoes just about done. Steak working. Let's just make our sauce, and the last thing that we're gonna do is we will saute our asparagus. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of new oil in, just a little bit. All right, we get some shallots in there. Let's give them a little pinch of salt and give it a little bit of wine. All right, now what I'm doing, you see, I'm scraping all that crud off the bottom. All right, because all, now all that flavor is in there. Now, let's throw some mushrooms in there. Give them a little pinch of salt. Right. So just give it a little stir. Now I'm gonna go check my steak, but I also wanna put these guys in the oven, right? All right, so let's just take a look-see at our steak and let's take its temperature. All right, so I pulled these guys out. This one is at 122 degrees. This one is at 123 degrees. So what did I say we wanna take it out? 120. 120, so we're like right in the neighborhood of where we wanna be. So now what do we do? Just let them hang out. Now let's just finish up our sauce, right? Okay, let's just give it a tiny, another little splash of red wine. Now we wanna cook that wine till it cooks like almost all the way again. You still want a little juice in there, you want it to be a little moist, but you wanna cook most of it away. All right, see, look at my, my wine is almost all the way gone. And then we're just gonna add some veal stock. All right, this is how we kind of finish the sauce. So, bring it to a boil. All right, let it cook down a little bit. There's a lot of layers of flavor going on in here. Oh, so look at that, see? A little shallot and a little asparagus in there. The asparagus is cooked already, right? Yeah. So I have asparagus and shallot. Oh my God, hello. When we plate stuff, we put potatoes on the plate first usually. So I have my potatoes there. I have my asparagus or whatever vegetable that you want. And we plate it on there. Now, my steak, right? resting, I seared it, I brushed it with my spice rub, sliced this on the bias. What does that mean? A diagonal. Diagonal. All right, so look, see what I've got going? I'm cutting it on the diagonal, but I'm keeping the steak all together. Why do we keep it all together? So we can take this mm. and transfer. Ah, when we transfer, oh. then what can we do? Spread it out. Yeah, fan it. Just give it a little bit of a fan. Look at what we've got going on here. See how beautifully oh. pink that is yeah. on the inside? Now, I'm taking the mushrooms and the sauce, but mostly the mushrooms right this second. 
right? And I'm getting those sort of laying down in front of my steak. Now, what do we think? Is that a steak dinner? That's, That's gorgeous. Yeah. Want to taste? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah.